sorry for stopping the video uh, abruptly in the, the last video we were here. I was showing you how you can check your answer of integration. So we integrated integrated this function and we got this answer. Okay, now we want to check where the answer is right. So I told you that you can do it in two ways. One, in the other videos I showed you how you can do it by doing u substitution. Now, the other way is, when if you differentiate this, you should get this back. So this is where we were. So we're differentiating each of them with respect to x. Okay, so using, uh, so here, let us differentiate this. So one third would remain one third times. We're going to differentiate the inside, that is two. And when you're differentiating a power, you drop the power down, which is 1.5 times. 2x plus 5 and decrease the power by 1 which is 0 0.5 minus again differentiating the inside that will be 2 times drop the power down which is 0 0.5 times 2x plus 5 and decrease the power by 1 so 0 0.5 take away 1 is negative 0 0.5 and differentiation of a constant is 0 okay so this becomes this becomes, this is one third times two times 1.5 is three times square root of two x plus five minus, this is one, two times half is one times one over square root of two x plus five. Now this is very interesting. You may wonder how can you get from this to this? Okay, so that's a very interesting step. Okay, so let me use a different color. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So this is nothing but square root of 2x plus 5 over 1 minus 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. Now using cross multiplying or multiplying, not cr I don't like cross multiplying. I'm going to multiply this with square root of 2x plus 5. So this is square root of 2x plus 5 times square root of 2x plus 5. So if you divide, if you multiply the top with 2x plus 5, it also do the same thing with the denominator, that is square root of 2x plus 5. So the, what I've done is I've made the denominators equal. 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. Okay, so this becomes, so this is nothing but 2x plus 5 minus 1 over square root of 2x plus 5. Okay, and this is nothing but 2x plus 4 over square root of 2x plus 5. Sorry for stopping the video. Okay, I would like to do one more uh, the same way. So this is integration of 2x times square root of 9 plus x squared. So I'll do this uh, pretty fast. I hope you are now confident. So I'm going to say let u is equal to x squared plus 9, okay? u is equal to x squared plus 9. So this implies du by dx is 2x, which implies du is 2x dx. du is 2x dx, okay? So now this, I'm going to write this as same as square root of x squared plus 9 times 2x dx. And this is nothing but square root of, this becomes square root of u, which is u to the power half. And this whole thing is du. Can you see how elegant it becomes when you do a u substitution? So this is nothing but u to the power 3 halves over 3 halves plus c. Okay. And so therefore, I can say integration of, uh, sorry, integration of square root of the same thing. I'm writing in a different way. x squared plus 9 times 2x dx is, this becomes, of course, this is 2 thirds times u to the power 1.5 plus c. So this is 2 thirds times x squared plus 9 to the power 1.5 plus c. 
So this is uh, fine, this is your answer, but I want to confirm the answer whether my working is right, okay? Especially for NCS students, it's really helpful because this, if you know how to uh, check your answer, you can not get a not achieved, okay? So yeah, I'm going to differentiate this and I should get this back. Okay, so let us differentiate this. So I'm saying d by dx, I'm finding d by dx of two-thirds of x squared plus 9 to the power 1.5 plus c. Okay, so this is nothing but the differentiation of c is 0. So I'll write diff the two-thirds is a constant, so our coefficient, so times you have to differentiate the inside first, so that is 2x, and then the outside, that is 1.5 times x squared plus 1, x squared plus 9, take away 1, so that is 0 0.5. Okay, so this becomes, uh, this is, this is, this is 2 thirds times, 2x times 1.5 is 3x. Okay. Uh, times, this is nothing but square root of x squared plus 9. Okay, so this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So you're getting back 2x times square root of x squared plus 9. Okay, I would like you to look at, uh, I don't have the next question with me. Okay, so this is, this is how you can check your answer. So this is what you started with. Okay, if you differentiated this, okay. And you got this as the answer, okay? If, when, sorry, when you integrated this, you got this. And when you differentiated this, you got back the question, okay? So you should be pretty happy. See you in the next video.